welcome to staff works explained if you are here for the first time please consider subscribing to this channel watch other videos that you have done on various topics and uh, leave a comment uh, in today's video we'll be talking about democratic uh, republic of congo oil and gas sector we'll uh, look at the first oil and gas reserves in the drc the developments in auctioning of the oil feeds the DRC idea of a uh, ECOP partnership, opposition to the auctioning of the oil and gas fields in the DRC, postponement uh, of the auction, a report by Greenpeace organization, and the reaction from various sectors, and also uh, look at what options are available for DRC if it forgoes uh, this uh, lucrative industry. Uh, oil and gas discovery in the east of the country have given the uh, Democratic uh, Republic of Congo the second largest crude oil reserves in Central and Southern Africa, that is after Angola, which has the largest. These reserves are primarily located in four major lakes bordering Tanzania, Burundi, Rwanda and Uganda. DRC has proven uh, reserves of 180 million barrels through although estimates of uh, total petroleum reserves exceed 5 billion barrels. Currently, Congolese oil production is limited to the coast uh, basin which yields 25,000 barrels per day of offshore production, all of which is expo uh, exported. Along with the uh, largely uh, recently identified oil fields, the DRC may hold as many as 30 billion cubic meters of methane and natural gas in the three major petroleum deposits. Lake Kivu, which borders Rwanda and Burundi, has nearly 60 billion cubic meters of dissolved methane in its waters. Methane is already uh, being extracted in the Rwandan side of the lake. Through a uh, uh, biogas power plant in Rwanda which is generating 30 to 40 megawatts of electricity. Beyond the estimated 60 billion cubic meters of methane in Lake Kivu, the lake also generates as much as 250 cubic met, uh, meters of methane uh, annually. Opportunities are many in this country of DRC. There are currently three major oil companies which are conducting uh, extractive operations in DRC. We have Anglo-French firm Parenco, which is conducting offshore oil exp uh, extraction in, in the Atlantic Ocean off coast of Mwanda in the Congo Central. We have French oil company Total and DRC Parastito Cohydro, which is conducting exploratory and preliminary extractive operation in eastern DRC. Let's look at uh, development in the auctioning of the oil feeds. Licensing rights for 30 oil and gas blocks in DRC of Congo went up uh, for auction recently. Uh, that was in 2022. This process was aimed at opening parts of the world's second biggest rainforest to draining that could release large amount of carbon into the atmosphere. And uh, according to the environmentalists or climate activists, uh, this could jeopardize climate goals to tame global warming. President Felix Tshisekedi presided over the launch of the bidding at a ceremony in the, uh, which was held in Kinshasa. Those who attended the auction included a representative from Total Energies of France and several domestic companies. Uh, although Total Energies later came to withdraw uh, saying that they will not pass participate in this bidding and I will see uh, the reason why they did this. According to President Felix Tshisekedi, the launch of a tendering process, I said, speaks to the DRC desire to put their resources potential at the service of their country and fossil fuel production would boost development in DRC. The President said during the opening of this auction that Modern drilling methods and tight regulations would minimize the ecological impact, and he also denied that Congo 
was going back to on its commitment to protect the rainforest. And DRC is looking into partnership uh, with uh, ECOP. ECOP is East African Crude Oil Pipeline, which is being constructed from uh, uh, the oil fields in Uganda uh, to Tanga in Tanzania for purpose of uh, evacuating oil in Uganda. So the DRC has started discussions with neighboring Uganda for possible use of uh, East African countries' planned crude oil pipeline to export petroleum. So this is in preparation of uh, uh, since uh, DRC has discovered or oh, there is a uh, huge potential of oil in this country. So they are looking for ways into which this oil can be extracted. So they have started with auctioning. Now they are looking for ways through which uh, probably uh, this oil will be uh, evacuated if it ever happens that it will be uh, expo I mean, drilled. So uh, these crude oil pipeline is uh, 3 billion, 3.5, 5 billion uh, uh, project which covers a distance of 1,443 kilometers of which uh, about 285 will be in Uganda and the rest, uh, 1,000 and uh, some, uh, some few kilometers will be in Tanzania. Uh, so DRC is looking to partner with the uh, with, uh, with the, the two countries, Uganda and Tanzania, uh, for purpose of uh, evacuating its oil if it, if it will be drilled. The DRC Ministry of Hydrocarbons uh, said in a Twitter statement later on Tuesday that, it, uh, that the Minister uh, of uh, Hydrocarbons met with Uganda counterpart and where they, hold, or they held discussions involving access to pipeline. He said, Uganda acknowledged the crucial requirement of DRC to access ECOP for the transport of the crude oil to be produced from the oil exploration blocks located in Abet and Graben in, uh, in the DRC region. The DRC and, the, and, and Uganda share uh, these oil-rich basin of Abet and Graben. Technical teams from both sides have been discussing and are preparing reports which are to be presented uh, to the two ministers and uh, they, are, they are to articulate and even lead to development of uh, an MOU. A spokesman for Uganda Energy Minister confirmed that they have been holding talks and has said that ECOP had be, has been designed for potential use by Uganda neighbors including DRC and South Sudan. Uganda and Tanzania are confident they will uh, secure funding for this project which has been uh, delayed for some time. All along, although there are those developments, there are fears that Congo oil fields are quickly becoming uninsurable. This is according to the statement which was released by Greenpeace uh, Africa, which is uh, an activist uh, organization that is opposed to uh, oil exploration in this region which is uh, described as sensitive. According to a recent report published by groups which are opposed to oil and gas auctions in the sensitive areas in the DRC, companies granted exploration and exploitation rights in the DRC may struggle to obtain insurance coverage for their operations. Greenpeace Africa ensure our future reclaim fi finance Uja World uh, and, uh, and other companies or other organizations in the report indicated that insurance and reinsurance companies may be reluctant to provide coverage for environmentally and socially destructive oil extraction plants in the DRC. This report emphasized that leading insurers and reinsurers should follow uh, their commitment and ESG or environmental, social and governance policies potentially making insurance for DRC oil exploration prohibitively expensive. This is to discourage uh, these companies from uh, going ahead and drilling oil. Concerns have been raised about oil companies willing to extract uh, oil in the DRC, including in a war zone, and uh, even sacrificing global biodiversity and climate goals, and uh, disregarding the rights of indigenous people and local communities, as well as concerns about corruption and uh, illegality, and these all go against environmental, social, and governance policies. The report, which was titled Blood Oil, 
ensuring the DRC oil exploration is underwriting the destruction of the Congo forest. Analysis, uh, this report analysis analyzes insurance and reinsurance firms' commitment and the general ECG policies related to the DRC oil and gas auction. The report discusses the risk of absent, free, prior and informed consent of indigenous people and local communities in designated oil blocks. The fact that DRC lacks domestic capacity to provide insurance for oil exploration due to high risk involved, major insurance and reinsurance companies are mainly concentrated in Europe and North America and have either excluded oil exploration and extraction in the DRC from their coverage or imposed general restrictions. Four insurance companies have even withdrawn their insurance capacity uh, for DRC exploration, potentially affecting the cost of for companies bidding for, uh, for exploration rights. So it would be difficult for companies which will be uh, bidding for oil in these uh, uh, areas which are sensitive to get insurance or insurance which are crucial as far as their business is concerned. So these, these, this is one of the challenges that these companies will uh, face. And uh, for, from an environmental point of view, it is a positive move uh, because these companies moving to this side of business because uh, there's, there's going to be an effect as far as uh, uh, drilling and uh, bidding of oil in these areas is concerned. The auction which was started uh, in 2022 uh, due to opposition from uh, various quarters had to be postponed. Uh, DRC postponed the auction of the 30 blocks and uh, 3 gas, uh, which were 27, 27 oil blocks and uh, 3 gas blocks uh, which are located in the protected rainforest. And this was mainly due to pressure from uh, uh, various quarters including the environmentalists. These blocks are spread across various regions of the country, with the oil blocks holding proven reserves of 180 million barrels and potential reserves exceeding 5 billion barrels. Currently, the DRC, as we said, is only uh, producing 25,000 barrels per day, and all of this is expected. Initially, the Congolese government had planned to auction 16 oil blocks out of the 30 to oil farms. But now it appears that uh, with the rising demands or other factors, the DRC uh, increased that to 30. The Minister for Hydro, uh, Hydrocarbons of DRC said that uh, the sale of all these blocks was expected to bring 2 billion US dollars to the Treasury. Hydrocarbon Minister vowed to support oil companies in which are interested in the uh, drilling in the DRC. He acknowledged that there are concerns uh, about environment, but, uh, but they will go ahead, but ensure that they protect the, uh, the natural resources, although he didn't say how. He reiterated that the people of his country have the right to benefit from their natural the wealth. And in reference to outside forces that are uh, opposed to the oil and gas, he said that people must un understand that, they are f the, that DRC is free, it's a sovereign nation, and uh, they will exploit their natural resources. The DRC environmental minister also defended the f uh, fossil fuel bonanza, saying that nobody can put pressure on them. She added that no convention in the world, uh, not even Paris Agreement, forbids any country from uh, emitting carbon dioxide for development purposes. And those who think, he said, she said that those who think that the oil blocks pose a problem should come and reassess. She further assured critics that an environmental impact assessment of oil drilling would be carried out prior to auctioning of the oil blocks and if they think it could destroy the environment they will leave it in the ground. So this pressure uh, that was mounting and uh, I mean led, led to postponement of the oil block auction, auction with the government revealing plans to unveil the list of multinational companies which were bidding uh, and uh, these they, they postponed and they said that they are going to do it later. They had planned to do it between April and October 2023. Uh, it has not happened so uh, although there are reports that uh, there, are, there are three blocks that were auctioned uh, secretly uh, to US and Canadian companies in the rainforest, 
environmentalists uh, strongly oppose the auction uh, and impending oil drilling and they have emphasized that we need to keep the fossil fuels in the ground ground they argue that such auctions are detrimental to climate efforts and they have urged the Congolese government to abandon oil exploration in these protected areas. I even several multinational oil giants like uh, France Total Energies opted out of the controversial uh, oil projects and this was in response to environmental backlash. However, some companies like Chevron, Talo Oil, Perenco have not publicly disclosed their bidding intentions. Greenpeace Africa has highlighted the importance of transition away from the fossil fuels to address the climate uh, change in the 21st century. In their report, uh, which they did uh, just before the oil auction started, uh, Greenpeace voiced the opposition of the local communities in the DRC to the government large-scale oil and gas uh, auction which was launched in July 2022. Several environmentalist organizations which include Greenpeace Africa, 350 Africa Organization, Rainforest Rescue and even uh, other Congolese NGOs documented the concerns and resistance of these communities uh, within the area which are targeted. These concerns include lack of consent, the environmental and social impacts where the report emphasized that the oil and gas auctions posed a significant threat to the global peace, biodiversity and well-being of the Congolese people. Uh, they highlighted the potential for disease, conflict, poverty, corruption, and uh, which is associated with the uh, oil exploration. They also, the other concern is extent of auctioned areas where they, where they cover a vast area of 277,000. Uh, I mean, square kilometers, which include peatlands and uh, protected areas such as Virunga National Park, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Local communities' voices, where the report provided uh, insights into perspective of local communities living in the auction area, residents expressed their disappointment with the government neglect of their rights and environment. They argued that the auction was conducted secretly without consideration for their villages, wildlife and uh, ecosystem. The other concern is on uh, environmental and health risks, where the report highlighted the lack of clean drinking water in the visited uh, villages, with communities relying on local rivers. It estimates that more than one million people could be impacted by oil pollution and uh, waterborne diseases. Pollution could uh, also threaten food security in the region. There is also economic impact where local livelihoods including those of fishermen and uh, farmers would be devastated by oil exploration, drilling and uh, leading to economic and social disruptions. There are concerns about uh, what, what quote-unquote slaves where the local population fears becoming slaves to oil companies and they anticipate new social conflict in the uh, once exploration begins. They are not ready to welcome uh, an oil company and fear the destruction of their environment. Then there are legal and ethical concerns where the report questions the legality of the oil and gas auction, suggesting that nearly half of the blocks appear to have been auctioned without following the official procedures. It also raised concerns about the auction compliance with environmental and conservation laws in DRC. The report called on the DRC government to cancel its plans for oil and gas exploration and promote investment in uh, renewable energies to address energy poverty affecting millions of Congolese. It also appealed to the donor com community, urging the countries to, uh, especially those who have uh, entered into agreement with DRC related to forest protection and oil and gas activity to work with the government on alternatives and condemn the impact of human rights, rule of law and the environment. They also appealed to uh, financial institutions which are considering to support oil and gas development in, in the DRC, uh, reminding them of the need to obtain free, prior, and informed concept of the potentially affected uh, community. There was also a reaction from uh, the United States. Uh, U.S. climate envoy John Kerry said uh, Washington had asked DRC to abandon some blo oil blocks 
that it put for auction in sensitive environmental areas. Speaking to reporters at the pre-COP27 uh, climate talks in Kinshasa, Kerry said that U.S. had asked uh, DRC government to withdraw some tracts to protect the vo uh, forest. The former U.S. Secretary of State also said there was a way to provide employment and, and economic development without putting sensitive areas such as really critical pitlands at risk. Uh, she, Kerry said that there was a need of, 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 for a balance. Uh, one question that is arising is out of all these uh, DRC intention to auction and uh, even go ahead and expo exploit oil in uh, some of these sensitive areas. And also uh, then the opposition that is coming from different sides, especially from environmentalists. So one question is which is arising is whether sh DRC should forego drilling and in exchange get compensation for the, uh, from the richer countries. So this question, uh, whether... Uh, DRC should forego drilling for oil and gas in exchange for compensation from richer countries. These are quite complex questions which has no easy answer. There are a number of factors to be considered including DRC economic needs, environmental impact of drilling and potential benefits of compensation. On one hand, the DRC is one of the poorest countries in the world and its economy is heavily dependent on uh, natural resources. Drilling for oil and gas could generate significant revenue for the country, which would be used to fund development projects and improve lives of the citizens. Additionally, the DRC has significant oil and gas reserves, which means that it has the potential to become a major energy producer. This could give the DRC more economic clout and political influence in the world. On the other hand, drilling for oil and gas can have significant negative impact on the environment. It can pollute the air, water, and introduce and even contribute to climate change. Additionally, the DRC is home to a number of unique and bio, uh, biodiverse ecosystems which should be or which could be damaged by drilling. It is important to consider the potential benefit of compensation. If the DRC were to forego drilling in exchange for compensation from richer countries, it could free up resources that could be used to invest in renewable energy and other sustainable initiatives. Additionally, compensation could uh, help the DRC to adapt to the effects of climate change, which is already having a significant impact in, on the country. DRC is skeptical of the idea of compensation, and they are citing the example of Ecuador, which requested for $3.6 billion to offset revenue lost by not drilling in its Yasuni National Park. The initiative was scrapped in 2013 after it brought less than 4% of the requested amount. Ecuador had requested for $3.6 billion to offset revenue which was lost uh, for not drilling the, in the National Park. But this initiative uh, did not go ahead because it only raised 4% of the requested amount. So drilling began three years later. Ten years ago, Ecuador was in similar position that DRC country currently finds itself. Recognizing the potential economic benefit of the oil and the environmental harm of extracting and burning it, the Ecuador former president, uh, Rafael Correa, proposed the idea more than a decade ago that wealthy nations should pay Ecuador to preserve a uh, national park. Yasuni National Park spans about 2.5 million acres and houses 610 species of band birds. 139 of these species of, uh, are amphibians and 121 species are reptiles. According to a study from 2010, just one hectare of land in the forest contains more trees species than are sensitive to the continent of U.S. and Canada com combined. A single hectare in Yasuni also boosts more than 100,000 insect species. So you can look at, you can see the type of di uh, biodiversity that is found in this sensitive uh, forest or national park of Ecuador. And uh, this, uh, the government of Ecuador wanted to drill oil in these 
but they are opposition and then they propose the idea that we should be compensated for us to forego this. Uh, this that did not happen. So this park is home also to indigenous Waur, Waurani and Kichwa communities as well as the uh, Tageri, Dugakeri and uh, other indigenous groups which live in isolation in, in Ecuador. But the forest also holds the current, uh, the current country's largest oil reserves, just like in DRC. And some uh, people in Ecuador have argued that denied access to these resources would damage the country's economies. And these are the same arguments that are in DRC, that if, uh, if DRC is able to uh, exploit this oil, then this oil can add some benefits economically to, the, to this country. Uh, that's the same argument that was being presented in Ecuador. Uh, the energy minister of Ecuador, Fernando dos Santos, at that time told the uh, local radio that uh, losses that would amount from not drilling oil in this uh, region would be in tunes of $1.2 billion uh, every year if oil was left in the ground. Ecuador government relied on uh, oil for more than a third of its revenue. So you see the contribution that oil was to bring and uh, you see the dilemma that the country was in. But support for this plan, uh, this plan for composition among the international governments was not going well. After seven years, uh, only $13 million had been lent, I mean, had, had, had been collected out of a goal of $3.6 billion. And uh, in 2014, Ecuador decided that they would not go ahead with that composition uh, plan and uh, they decided to move ahead uh, with drilling. In 2016, the, the state oil company officially started extracting oil from this forest. In opposition, the oil ex extraction activist groups, uh, which, had, which had been fighting for decades to get Yasuni referendum, uh, I mean, came up, came up, and uh, it started a uh, call for this to stop. Then in May 2023, uh, Ecuador's Supreme Court ruled that the government should include a vote on drilling in the next election, where people were to vote on whether this, uh, this drilling or this exploitation of oil should continue. Prior to this vote, International Human Rights Organization Survival International called drilling in the uncontacted tribes' territory, a huge threat to their survival. Yet, not all indigenous people were in agreement on the referendum. 16 communities living in and around the park supported uh, the oil industry, seeing that it brought development and stability. But other groups and major organizations representing indigenous people have been on the front lines in the fight against. With more than 90% of the ballots counted uh, during that referendum, the results were about six in every ten voters rejected drilling in Yasuni area. Uh, voters also cast ballot uh, in that direction. They were also current, uh, vote, voting for the president. And uh, this referendum uh, came as climate change is increasing wildfires, heat waves, and flooding across the world. And the environmentalists are arguing, urging government to turn away from fossil fuels and uh, switch to renewables. So the ballot measure applied to just one section of Yasuni National Park known as Block 43. And activists are planning to oppose drilling in other areas. So this is a concerted move that has been led by organization, international organization and also local com indigenous communities where they don't want uh, some sections of the Yasuni National Park to be drilled for all purposes. So they are opposed to it. So Ecuador was facing the similar problems as, uh, as, 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 as DRC is currently facing, uh, where, they, where they want to probably explore the, exploit this oil uh, for purpose of uh, uh, boosting the economic development. But they are, there is a, they, this poses a very great risk because some of the oil fields are located in sensitive areas. So as DRC thinks about auction, of oil and gas fields on one hand and compensation on the other, there are some other factors that it need to consider. Uh, DRC need to consider it is, it is a signatory to Paris Agreement on Climate Change, which commits countries to reducing their greenhouse gas emissions, 
The rain for oil and gas would make it more difficult for DRC to make its commitment under the agreement. Uh, DRC also need to consider that it is home to a number of indigenous people who rely on the forest for their livelihoods. Drilling for oil and gas could displace these communities and damage their traditional way of life. The DRC government has a history of corruption and mismanagement, so there is a risk that any composition that is made uh, would be misused and even embezzled. embezzled. And even it's not certain that uh, with exploration of oil in these sensitive areas, that uh, it will gradually go towards benefit of the country or benefit of the people in these areas. Uh, one of the compensation offer that TRC is considering is, to, uh, is the deal with uh, CAFI. CAFI is Central Africa Forest Initiative. During climate change conference of parties COP26 in UK, Central Africa Forest Initiative and DRC endorsed an ambitious 10-year agreement to protect the Congo Basin Rainforest. This was in recognition that DRC forests represent 10% of the world tropical forest. Its peatlands or its peatlands pit, cover 100,000 kilometers squared and are the largest in the world. Its e ecosystem offers carbon absorption service equivalent to 10 years of global emission. The Congo Basin is one of the last regions in the world to absorb more carbon than it emits. Its forest, the second largest in the world after Amazon, absorbs nearly 1.5 billion tons of CO2 from the atmosphere every year, or 4% of the global emissions. Supported by the European countries, the Republic of Korea, European Union, and UK, uh, the Central Africa Forest Initiative, CAFI, is a United Nations Trust Fund and policy dialogue platform that aims to support six Central Africa countries in pursuing a low emission development pathway that ensures economic growth and uh, poverty reduction while protecting the forest and natural resources. The main message regarding the compensation option available to the DRC to limit oil and gas in activities in sensitive areas is that DRC, in collaboration with the Central Africa Forest Initiative, has endorsed an ambitious 10-year agreement covering between uh, 2021 and 2031, and this is aimed at protecting the Congo Basin Forest. This agreement recognizes the Im immense environmental value of the DRC forest and uh, peatlands, which play a vital role in carbon absorption and mitigation of climate change. In essence, entering into CAFI deal, DRC is conveying its commitment to preserving its valuable natural resources and contributing to global climate goals. The agreement with CAFI uh, underscores the importance of sustainable development and responsible natural resource management, while also ac acknowledging the significance of DRC forests and peatlands in fight against climate change. Composition through international collaboration and initiatives like CAFI will play a crucial role in achieving this conservation and uh, climate objectives. It is also important to consider that even if an investment do pour in when uh, the auction happens, there is no guarantee that it will benefit the Congolese people. Uh, we know that Congo or DRC is already mining a mining powerhouse in its own right. It produces large amount of copper, cobalt, gold, diamonds, and many other uh, minerals and now oil and gas, yet it remains deeply impoverished, and this is largely due to corruption and misgovernment. DRC enjoys huge reserves of minerals, but three quarters of the population live on less than a dollar a day, and this is according to figures which have been released by World Bank. So it's not guaranteed that even if uh, DRC goes ahead and auction these uh, oil blocks and uh, oil exploration starts that this is going to benefit the the community. So this it's a, it's a, it's a, this is a dilemma that DRC finds itself in, uh, being one of the poorest countries and then being one of the countries which have a lot of resources. Uh, so there's a need to balance. There's a need to balance between environment and also to balance between uh, livelihoods. So uh, whatever decision that DRC makes should be a decision that uh, benefits the people 
uh, of the country, uh, the large population which is living in poverty, uh, ensure that there is equitable development and also ensure that it protects the environment. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you for coming this far. Give us your thought about what you think about oil and gas uh, exploration or auction of these blocks and uh, the opposition that is coming from different quarters, environmentalists, international organizations, and whether DRC should go ahead and uh, uh, ex exploit oil in these sensitive areas. So thank you.